Welcome back to beginning ASP.NET Core 3.0. This section is called Create Razor Pages Web Apps in ASP.NET. This video is called Creating Layout Views. In this video, we will cover what are Razor Views, we'll create a layout view in Razor Pages, and we'll look at other global files. First, what are Razor Views? They're a new aspect of MVC that makes coding page-oriented scenarios easier. They're created using .NET New Web App if you want a pure Razor View application. They're configured in startup with services.app MVC and app.useMVC just like we've done up till now. It uses the at page directive to let ASP.NET know that a page is a Razor View page. This makes the file into an MVC action. No controller required. Razor pages live in the pages folder by default, but it can be changed. Each Razor page is comprised of two files, the CSHTML file and the CSHTML.cs file. The CSHTML file handles all the HTML interaction, just like it does with views in MVC. The CSHTML.cs file is a code behind file that handles the page events and are written in C-sharp. It is compiled at runtime and can have a shared folder just like MVC's views. That's where layout.cshtml file would live. Next, let's create a view in Razor Pages. For our layout view, we'll do a simple header content footer layout. To do that, create a new folder in the root called Pages, and in the Pages folder, create another folder called Shared. In the Shared folder, create a new file. We're going to temporarily call it underscore layout.html so that we can use the built-in IntelliSense and we'll switch it to CSHTML once we're finished. Use the Emmet abbreviation exclamation mark to start the page. And the title we're going to get from the view data. So change the title to at view data title. And then a space dash sliver. Great. Now we can change the file name from HTML to CSHTML. And we can add in our header, content, and footer layout. In the fifth section, we will talk about login and logout. We'll leave it as logout for now, but in section five, we'll add a login mechanism. Let's close the Explore window to give us some extra room. And then we will have a main section that renders out the body. That's it for our layout page. Now let's create a CSS page. In the Explorer, open up www root, open up the CSS folder, and we're going to create a new CSS file called main.css. Back in our layout.cshtml, let's add a link to that. Then add the following CSS. First we'll reset the margin and padding to nothing and the box sizing setting to bo border box for all elements. We'll set the font family for the body and set the header width to 100 view width. We'll set the height to 48 pixels and the padding right uh, to 25 pixels and the padding left to 25 pixels. We'll set the background color to be this kind of grayish color and we'll set the foreground color to white. We'll display flex and the flex direction of row. We'll justify all the content to be the space between. We'll set any anchors in the header to be display block with a color of white and a text decoration of none. The container will be display flex with flex direction of row and justify content flex start. We'll align items to the top. Then in the navigation we'll display flex for the items in the navigation with a flex flow of row wrap. We'll justify content to the flex start. And that's it for the CSS.
Next, we'll want to take a look at how this looks. So in our Pages folder, create another folder called Admin. Within Admin, create a page called index.cshtml. In the CSHTML is going to be our first Razor page. A Razor page always starts with the at page directive. We'll give the page a title of admin home. And we'll also tell it to use the layout of layout. And then we'll give a friendly message of hello world. Save the file and then hit F5 to launch our app. Once the app launches, navigate to https colon slash slash localhost colon 5001 slash admin and you will see our hello world page for our admin. One thing you'll notice on this page is that these links in our navigation don't work. They don't give us the hand and if you click on it nothing happens. Let's make a change to that. Close the browser and stop debugging. In the Explorer, add a page to the Pages folder called underscore view imports.cshtml. If we go back to our layout.cshtml, you'll notice that our links are using ASP page. This is a tag helper, but we're not currently importing any tag helpers. So in our view imports, where we can do global imports, let's add a tag helper. We want to add all of the tag helpers that are found in Microsoft.aspnetcore.mvc.tag-helpers. Save the file and now run it again. Go to slash admin and you'll notice that these work now. The second one doesn't exist yet, so it'll just take you to the slash admin page. Let's add the add page. Under admin, create a new file called add.cshtml. This file is also a razor page, so at page. And rather than saying layout on every single page, we can add another shared file called view start. Add a file called underscore view start.cshtml. And in view start, do at layout equals layout. Then go back to your index.cshtml and take out the layout equals underscore layout. And go back to our add.cshtml and here we want to add in a title which is add a watch and just add a friendly message to the screen. Now press F5 to run the application. Navigate to slash admin, and the first thing you'll notice is that this page still loads with the layout because of the view start.cshtml global file. The slash admin slash add or add a watch page, now you can click on it and navigate to it, as well as go back to the admin home. 